Hello there, and welcome to the last video of the Maplelib playlist on the Future Programmer YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to wrap up this series by talking about customization and style sheets in Maplelib, which allows us to change the plotting styles as well as other behavior of Maplelib. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Matplotlib lets us change its configuration and styles in the following three ways. RC params, style sheets, and by modifying the Matplotlib RC file. Now in this video, we'll be discussing the first two methods since the third one is rarely ever necessary and can be done using the first method anyway. Let's first import the necessary packages and modules as you can see here. So let's import numpy as mp and Matplotlib as mpl as well as maplelib.pyplot as plt. And notice how we import the entire maplelib package in addition to the pyplot module that we usually import. Since we're only looking at customization and style, it doesn't really matter what kind of plots that we create. It just needs to be some sort of plot. So here I'm going to create a function that uses cosine to grab a plot that looks like this. As you, as you can see right here. So it's kind of a wave or a couple waves in a graph using lines. The first way of customizing Matplotlib is RC params, which stands for Runtime Configuration Parameters. So RC stands for Runtime Configuration and params stands for parameters. Now we can change these configurations using the Matplotlib.RCParams variable. Let's first print out the length of this variable, which is kind of like a dictionary with key value pairs. And we can see there are 308 parameters that we can customize to our liking. And we can see the specific parameters using mpl.rcparams. And we can see things uh, such as, let's, let's take a look here. So we can see, if I scroll down, we see all types of different configurations. For example, a very useful one would be figure.dpi, which is defaulted to 100. Now this customizes the resolution at which our plots are drawn. You can also see a lot of other customizations, font.size, font.style, .variant, .weight. These are just a few for the different fonts. And you can customize any of these parameters to exactly what you need for your individual projects. So, this variable is like a dictionary, so we can access and modify the parameters directly in Python using dictionary syntax. So we can print out maplotlib.rc params, passing in the key of lines.line width, and we'll see a value of 1.5 printed out. Now, by default, this is the look of our plot that we create using our plotting function. If I change maplotlib.rc params with a key of lines.line width, to 5, so instead of 1.5, now it is going to be 5. So this will print out the value of 5, and plotting function being called will result in a plot with much thicker lines than before. We can default or we can reset all of the RC params to the default values using the plt.rc defaults function. So we can call the RC defaults function like this, and we'll see plotting function will result in a graph that looked as it did when we first ran this function before we changed any of the parameters. The second way of changing style in Matplotlib is by using style sheets, which are predefined sets of RC parameters that can be imported in our own programs. So Matplotlib provides many styles that we can load using the function plt.style.use. Let's first take a look at the default available styles that Matplotlib has using plt.style.available, which is a list of strings that you can see here. So any of these values, each of these values represent a different style, a different style sheet that we can use in our Matplotlib programs. So you can take a look at the style sheets reference down here. I'll also be linking this in the description below if you would need that. And we can change the style that we use from default to plt.style.use ggplot, you can see this is a style that is indicated right here. We can put any of these values into plt.style.use and we'll see a plot that looks a lot different than the default style of Matplotlib. 
Now, both RC params and style sheets are typically used at the top of a Python program, at the top of a MyPlotlib plotting program. So we will be customizing these for the entirety of the project. For example, to make our plots look consistently like this or some other different style. So the next time you create data visualizations using Python's Matplotlib package, make sure to use RC params and style sheets to customize the plotting to your own liking. And that's it for this video, as well as the entire Matplotlib playlist on the Future Programmer YouTube channel. If you found this video or any of the other videos in this series helpful, please consider subscribing down below so you can learn more about other programming concepts. That said, thank you very much for watching this video as well as any others that you may have encountered, and I hope to see you in future videos.